All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top Line. It's your boy, Chris. And, uh, well, first, first, second, and third, ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody's having a great, 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 great Wednesday, man. Um, great hump day. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I want to touch on something. You know, I'm a Cowboy fan, so I know some people are going to tell me, shut up, mind my business, whatever. But the 49ers firing their defensive coordinator, Steve Wilkes, was a complete shocker to me. Um, and I'm going to go as far as say it was an overreaction. I, 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 I'm I, sorry. That's how I see it. Like, I'm quite sure some 49er fans that's going to jump on here and say, Chris, you don't, know, you don't know what you're talking about. This is why they fired him. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, bro, like, that was just, you lost a, a hell of a game in overtime. Like, I, I, I really think it was an overreaction, man. Like, I didn't... I don't know, bro. I, I I wouldn't have done it. I, I you got to the Super Bowl. I don't understand firing someone that got you to the Super Bowl. That that was critical in, in your team getting to the Super Bowl. Um. Now again, I'm not gonna pretend to be the guy that watched the San Francisco 49ers every day. I mean, every game. I, I'm not. I'm not that guy. I don't pretend to be. But just knowing. I mean, you look at the and then you got to remember that also is lost. In this game, Greenlaw. You know what I'm saying? Their, their star linebacker went down in this game. That right there should have gave the defensive coordinator a little grace. I mean, it's not like you had like San Francisco. I'm in San Francisco. You had like Kansas City went out there and, and, and threw it and threw it up and put 40 on the board. They beat, they won by 20, they won by one score in overtime. What what I think the final score was 25 or something like that? Like I, I I just think that was an overreaction, man. I thought that was a reach. Um, I'm, and I, you know what? <clears throat> As a Cowboy fan, let me say, you know, it don't give me. Hey, look, if, 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 if it's a mistake, it's a mistake. But it's something, and I could be wrong, man. I could be wrong, but it's something about the way that that defense just are in attack mode. They're constantly in attack mode. They're constantly hungry. They, they, they play with a certain level of violence that I wouldn't change that. That's become who they are. Like, you know, it was like, the, it's sort of like the Legion of Boom back back in the day. You know, they was a little unhinged, but it worked. You know what I'm saying? They was a little unorthodox, but it worked. I look at the San Francisco 49ers defense the same way. You look at Fred, Fred Warner, he want to give you some extra every play. You know what I'm saying? Greenlaw to me was like the mad scientist. Of that defense, um, then you got those boys up front. You got a Chase Young, a Joey Bosa. Like your defense is set. I, 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 I I'm be honest. I'm gonna be one thousand percent honest with you, man. I, I, I didn't get that one, bro. I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I did not get that. I did not get that firing. I think that was an overreach. Um, maybe it's this whole well, um, this whole um. What if got to the Super Bowl uh, three times and lost, something like that, and they felt like something got to change? Well, hell, something has changed. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't agree with it. I, I, I think that's a mistake, man. You got a group of guys that are playing a certain way. Um, oh, they close. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, you got a group of guys that are playing a certain way that are handling their business and you're going to just like get get rid of I don't know man because you can change again I'm a cowboy fan so there's no benefit to me here but you can change you come in now you got a guy guys that are just aggressive used to playing a certain style used to being super aggressive now you got them thinking now they try to oh this is a new scheme now we're thinking we can't just flow the one thing um you don't want defenses doing is thinking too much. You don't want them thinking too much. You want them to go boom. You want them to be, I know what I'm supposed to be. I know my sets. I know what I'm supposed to be. I know what which gap I'm supposed to be in. I mean, boom. But we got but when you got a new defensive coordinator, new scheme in, um, now you're like, uh, 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 okay, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It takes away from their ability to just free flow. 
especially the linebackers. <laughs> and as good as that front is for the for the um the San Francisco 49ers, I really think that linebackers is what make that defense, man. And they got two of the best. Um and then you got to look at the, the the timeline of Greenlaw getting back. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, look, look, I know it's some San Francisco 49ers um, um, people on here. Let me know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know, am I tripping? Am I missing something? Did I not see something? Because if you're going to fire, what, for, for what, one drive? Like, I, I don't get it. I didn't see nothing that said fire your defensive coordinator. To me, that's an overreaction. It's a reach. It's it's like saying it's like doing a little too much. We lost we lost to get a Super Bowl. Oh, somebody got to change. It's got to be somebody. It's got somebody got to get some blame. I didn't like it, man. I didn't like it. Um, but I mean, because unfortunately, bro, you when you look at the San Francisco 49ers, you look at them as a team. And, I, and again, I don't know everybody contract situations on the 49ers like that, but I look at them a team that's built to be around for a while. You know what I'm saying? You look at you look from from that roster down. Look like a team that's gonna be around for a while. Um, I just wouldn't have did it. I just wouldn't have did it. You're too close. You're too close. I'd have said, hey, you got hey. If I had an issue with Steve Wilkes and I'm the, the owner Jim, whatever, um, John Lynch in this case, I'd be like, I'm gonna give you got one more year. Let me let me see you again. Let me see you again because you can. And if you're trying to hold anything that happened last year against him, then that just makes no sense. Because, first of all, they didn't have a quarterback when it when it mattered most, which put so much pressure on their defense. And I thought the defense held up about as well as you can expect when you got you, when you play 11 on 10. Um, so, hey, look, but I tell you one thing, though, Steve Wilkes ain't going to be out of a job long. Um, again, I don't know if anything already happened with him, but I don't think he's going to be out of a job long, um, especially when you look at, the way that defense played, the way that defense flowed, they they the way they rallied to the ball, like <clears throat> look no further than the Cowboys. Look at Rob Melinari, Rob Melinari, and all those guys compared to when Dan Quinn got there. The, the defense was like was was like they was the worst defense in the NFL, and then turned out to be one of the better defenses in the NFL based off of a defensive coordinator. So a defensive coordinator can make or break an offense. I'm mean, sorry, an offense or a defense. Was well, defensive offense? A, a, a coordinator can make or break it. So now you got them going through this learning process. And if it's someone that comes in and won't these his type of guys, <coughs> you don't want to see what happened in Oakland when John Gruden got there and got rid of Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper and all these guys to say, hey, I'm bringing in my type of guys, and then it don't pan out. So we don't. I don't know. We'll see, man. But that's my thought. I know somebody gonna say, "Mind my damn business." I'm a cowboy fan, but hey, that must be my two cents, dog. With that being said, guys, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, you guys be great. I gotta get to work.